Hello everyone, my name is Ian, you're watching Big Rock Moto, and thank you so much for tuning in today. Sadly, most motorcycle riders are wearing a helmet that is not the correct size for them. And in fact, most riders are likely wearing a helmet that is actually one size too large for their head. So there's really a couple questions here that we're gonna address today. First, how do you know if the helmet that you're currently wearing is the right size for you? But also, if you're shopping for a new helmet, what are the things to look for? How do you size that helmet? And also, how do you understand the shape of your head and how that applies to what helmet you should buy? Here's a common story that you can probably relate to. You go into a motorcycle shop, a motorcycle dealer, whatever it is, and you're looking for a new helmet. You try one on and it slips on pretty easily, feels pretty comfortable, so you take it home and you start riding with it. The problem is, if a helmet is really comfortable and fairly loose right off the bat, it's gonna, when it breaks in down the road, maybe 500 miles, 1,000 miles later, it's gonna start to be a little bit too big for you because you probably bought a helmet that is a little bit too large. And unfortunately, the salespeople at these motorcycle dealerships and motorcycle shops often don't know how to properly advise you on correct helmet sizing. So let me start by showing you how you can tell if your current helmet is too big for you. Now, for this video, I'm using the Climb Cryos Pro as an example, just because this is my favorite motorcycle helmet. Here on your left is my old Cryos Pro, which is a size large, and here on your right is my new Cryos Pro, which is a size medium. I realized that I was in a size too large, especially once the helmet got broken in. So I'm gonna show you how you can determine that. So let's go ahead and put on our helmet here. This helmet has the Fidlock closure, which is very, very nice. So you see, so did you see how easy it was for me to put this helmet on? That's probably the first sign that this helmet is a little too big. It slides off and on far too easily without any real effort. And that's the first sign that your helmet may be a little bit too big for you. So let me fasten the strap and show you another way to check. So let me turn sideways. The first thing you can do is if you can roll up the back of the helmet, and the helmet will lift kind of off your head like this, that means that's a sure sign that the helmet is probably too big for you. Another thing that you wanna look for is you wanna take the helmet, grasp it here by the chin bar, and move it, uh, move it first, rotate it up and down. So you see how I can rotate this helmet so it's actually blocking my eyes here with the shell of the helmet? I can also rotate it side to side far too much, like more than an inch in either direction. So in a crash, what's gonna happen is all this movement is gonna be working against me and not providing the appropriate amount of protection. Another telltale sign of a helmet that is not the right size for you, if it's not squeezing your cheeks tightly and not giving you kind of squirrel cheeks, especially in the first couple thousand miles of wearing it, that helmet is probably too large. And in the case of this helmet, I can actually put my hands down in between my cheeks and the cheek pads and everything's just very, very loose. Now, I'm not trying to guilt you and make you feel bad about this because I've been guilty of this most of my riding career, and it's only in the past few years that I've become more aware of if a helmet is fitting me properly. There's a tendency to ride in a little bit too large of a helmet because, frankly, it feels a little bit more comfortable to not have the helmet gripping your head quite as tight. So now let's move over to one size smaller. So this Cryos Pro is a size medium, so one whole size smaller. And actually, in the case of this helmet, it moves to a smaller shell size. So helmets also have different shell sizes. So a manufacturer will create two, three, or four different shell sizes uh, depending on what size of helmet you're buying. So in this case, this large moves up to their larger shell size, and if you go to the medium, it goes to the smaller shell size. But don't really worry too much about that. It's just something interesting to know that the actual physical dimensions sometimes get smaller depending on what size you change to. So let's show you this properly sized, medium sized Kraus Pro, and show you uh, the difference in how this thing fits and how you know this is a properly fitting helmet. So the first thing you're gonna notice is when you go to put the helmet on like this, right here is where I'm noticing this thing feels tight. Like, how am I gonna get this on my head? But if you kind of use the chin straps and spread it out, it does fit on my head and now it feels nice and snug and relatively comfortable. This is a brand new helmet, so it feels a little tight and it's definitely still in that break-in period. 
So you notice how this was a lot harder for me to get on than this helmet that just slid right on with hardly any effort. So that's the first sign that your helmet is the right fit for you. Now, let's try the same test again. On this helmet, let me do the chin strap here real quick. So on this helmet, the roll test, I can only really move it a little bit like this. I can't roll it forward like I could with this helmet. Also, uh, let's try the up and down test. I can move it a little bit like this, but that's gonna be normal. Moving it side to side, I can only move it about maybe a half inch in each direction. So that's a good sign. You saw with this helmet, I was able to rotate it quite a bit. I can't do that with this helmet. Also, the cheek pads are fitting firmly against my cheeks and giving me kind of that squirrel cheek kind of feeling in the helmet. And of course, the final thing you're gonna notice is that a properly fitting helmet should be relatively snug. And in those first you know, few hundred miles, those first few thousand miles even, it's gonna feel maybe a little bit tight. Now, if you feel pressure points, like your forehead is hurting or your ears are hurting or some part of your head is really hurting and you really can't ride that like that, then it's probable that you have a helmet that is the wrong shape for your head. So that's what we're gonna get into now. Okay, so now how do you know how to size yourself for a brand new helmet if you're shopping online or even if you're shopping in the store? So the first thing I wanna mention is that Revzilla has a really amazing video on this and I think Spurgeon did a really good job showing you visually how to measure your head and talking you through all this. So I'm gonna link that video here below. So after you're done with my video, I recommend you put that in your queue and go ahead and watch that before you buy your next helmet. There's a couple of things you need to understand when you're looking at buying your new helmet. Uh, one is helmet shape and one is the helmet sizing itself. So let's talk about the different shapes of helmets. So manufacturers actually identify and create helmets according to three different main head shapes. There's a long oval, there's an intermediate oval, and there's also the round head shape. Now, most riders in the US, around 80% of the riders here in the USA, so I've been told, identify with the intermediate oval head shape. So most of the helmets you see out there for most brands are gonna meet that intermediate oval. Now what I really do appreciate about Revzilla in particular is on their website, any helmet you look at, they identify visually what uh, helmet type or what helmet shape that particular helmet goes towards. Now, don't fall into the trap of thinking that, okay, all Arise fit like this or all HJCs fit like this. That's not true. Arai in particular, as an example, they have some helmets uh, that are sized for different shapes of head, and they're very clear about spelling that out, but make sure you're paying attention to that. So now we've talked about the head shapes, how do you know what size helmet to buy? So there is a way to measure your head, and again, uh, Spurge shows this in the Revzilla video, but you wrap a cloth tape around above your eyebrows and above your ears, and you measure it a few times, have a friend help you or your spouse help you if you need to, and uh, take that measure and make sure you're getting a pretty accurate measurement. Now, the size charts on the helmet websites or Revzilla's website are gonna show you, you know, what that corresponds to in terms of the helmet sizing, and it's not consistent across all helmet brands. So if you have, for instance, my head is around 22 and three quarters inch. In some brands, that would put me more towards a large, and some brands like this Climb, it puts me into the medium. So make sure you look at exactly the model of helmet you're trying to buy. Now, what if you're between sizes? In my opinion, if you're right on the border of, let's say a medium and a large, like kind of I am in some helmets, I would tend to go for the smaller size and trying that first. And hopefully you're shopping somewhere with free exchanges like Revzilla where you can send things back and forth until you get the right size. But I would probably go to that smaller size if you're right on the border between the two sizes. So I think that's about all I have to say about uh, helmet sizing. We've covered how to know if your current helmet is a good fit for you, how to tell if it's too large, and we've talked through how to properly size when you're buying a brand new helmet. Getting the right size helmet is one of the most important things you can do as a motorcyclist to ensure your safety on the road. So please, for the sake of yourself, for the sake of your loved ones, make sure that you're riding in the appropriate sized helmet. I hope this video was useful. If it was, please support Big Rock Moto and there's all different ways you can do that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Please ride safe and I'll see you out there.